Welcome to Teaching Children About Money, where together we are raising clever dough kids. Meet the Mintz family. We all need a little inspiration now and then to help us stay on track to achieving our own goals in life, right? As parents, it can sometimes be overwhelming, to say the least. But knowing that there are other normal, everyday families achieving what we ourselves wish to achieve, that can give us that extra boost of confidence to go for our dreams and make them come true. So here is a wonderfully inspiring family who will do just that for you. You'll be both in awe as well as on a mission to make your own family succeed as they have. I hope you enjoy this. Meet the Mintz family, who are raising amazing role models. Anna Mintz and her family are a very entrepreneurial family indeed, and great role models to us all. So let me share their stories with you so you may be inspired by them as much as I am. And if you would like me to share your family's stories to help inspire others too, please let me know in the comments below and I will get in touch with you to see about making that happen for you. Don't forget, subscribe and also click that notification bell so that you'll know as soon as the next video comes out to help you with teaching your own child about money. Alright, so what I did is I sent in a request to my members to see who would like to be featured on my blog. I was looking for a family of entrepreneurs who were teaching their kids a healthy wealth mentality. I wanted to find great role models for my members and when I read Anna's application, I was immediately taken in by her family. I knew they were going to be amazing role models for us all and that we could be inspired and learn so much. And I was right. <laughs> So meet Anna Leah Mintz, an amazing mom indeed. So Anna met her husband David in a very unique and very rare way. Sometimes we kind of wonder who is exactly in charge of our lives. This was definitely one of those times that seemed to be divinely guided for sure. So they met on a flight from Canada to Israel to explore the Holy Land with a group of young adults from around the world. But even more coincidental is that they didn't even start from the same airport or the same province. David's seat was already seated by this lovely lady, Anna. The stewardess managed to find another seat for David, but he managed to arrange it so that he could sit beside her. It was honestly a match made in heaven. And they've been together ever since. From enjoying that climb in Masada together with David carrying Anna up to the very top in his arms, they began their life's journey. After getting married, they applied for a visa lottery in order to be allowed to reside in the U.S. since they were both Canadians. Ah, about two million people from all over the world enter the draw and out of, oh, 40,000 are selected and they were around the 11,000 amongst the bunch to win and be allowed to move anywhere they wanted in the U.S. So they chose San Diego, where they still live today with their three lovely children, Keith, Jordan and Tanya, all of them also natural born entrepreneurs just like their parents. They had lots of family already down there so it was the right place for them to be and it allowed David the opportunity to work with his family. Anna had a degree in education, graduating with honors in drama in education, which gave her the unique ability to teach creatively through the use of drama. After working more than 50 hour weeks, totally dedicated to her students and improving their lives, she decided to take on the role of principal as well as director of another private school to boot. After a while, she and David decided that she would quit her busy jobs to start a family on the recommendation of a doctor that they'd gone to see when they found they were having trouble conceiving. Their first child, Keith, was diagnosed with ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, at a very early age in life. Doctors tried to encourage Anna and David to put him on medication. That just didn't feel right to them to have Keith on any kind of a mental health drug. So instead, Anna gave Keith DHA and other good EFA oils that stimulate the brain. She changed his diet to reduce gluten, sugar, and other foods containing chemicals as well. She believed that when he appeared spacey in school, you know, with many other thoughts going on in his head, besides, of course, what the teacher was speaking about, that although he had been labeled as ADD, a much more appropriate label would have been Attention dialed for a higher dimension. They had full faith in Keith's unique abilities and believed that the school system could not expect to teach each student the same way since each student has a unique style of learning. 
Many kids do much better when they're taught hands-on, allowing them to use all of their five senses. This was one reason why she also got her degree in drama and education, so that she could make sure that students got to learn in every creative way possible to allow them to really tap into their natural talents. She is definitely a self-described workaholic. Anna may have no longer been in education, but she knew she had more work to do. She started by having a very classy and unique pool hall with her brother when she was just 20, and her husband's family were also all successful entrepreneurs. And with that entrepreneurial bug buzzing away at the back of her head while raising three beautiful children, she decided to go back to school to become a certified healthcare practitioner. A natural healer was helping Anna remove scar tissue from an abdominal muscle surgery after she had her third child. He seemed to always end the sessions with some sort of negative emotion release, which Anna found rather interesting. So she decided to enroll in an intense emotion code release program and successfully graduated to become a certified emotion code practitioner. What Anna does is she provides private and group nutrition and health consultation, helping to heal people's bodies and bring them back to the optimal health that they desire using non-invasive energy healing treatments. She helps to remove allergies, vertigo, stress, digestive issues and other physical issues as well as emotional conditions from their bodies. Yeah, people were getting sick all around and Anna Leo wanted to do something about it. So when I asked her why did she decide to be a healthcare practitioner rather than going back into the public and the private school education system, she answered that she found that 85% of people's health conditions and ailments were actually related to negative emotions that were buried deep in their subconscious minds. And the small percentage that were remaining were reasons found in the body code, such as potential pathogens like mold, parasites, viruses, and so on, or toxins, or nutrition and lifestyle, and, and other potential factors that Anna could detect and then help you remove. How ideal to be able to get to the root cause of a condition and then receive more accurate remedies. She was determined to make a difference in our world, healing our world naturally. Anna has been a go-getter and works with true passion, providing each client with top quality energy healing. She feels her work is a gift, and especially when clients can feel successful results and improvements in just 48 hours. She now gives health workshops to teach better health and educate others on what to avoid in your diet, what to include, and how to detoxify safely, and so much more. She is also in the process of writing two books, starting with Basic Start to Better Health, and then followed by How to Better Your Health from Head to Toe. I know her books are going to be just amazing, and I will put a link to them in the description below as soon as they are available for you. She's excited to share that she also, with the help of her eldest son, Keith, built her own website. And he's also helping her to maintain them as well. It's naturalhealthyhaven.com. Again, the link can be found in the description below. And Keith helped her start her own YouTube channel as well, Natural Healthy Haven, where you can get videos to help you learn how to live a healthy life naturally. Again, the links to all of her channels and her websites are in the description below for you, where you can also watch as Anna introduces herself and her business. Now, Anna and David raised their kids to have an entrepreneurial spirit, earning money throughout their childhood by doing extra chores around the home, dog sitting, selling a lemonade, as well as modeling and acting. They continue to earn money from the entertainment industry, which mom says is beneficial for their self-confidence and enhances their ability to speak in public, as well as to take direction from producers and directors and perhaps parents. As a family, they did a commercial for Mossy Nissan as well. All right, so let's meet their amazing kids and see what they're up to. Here is Keith Mintz, their eldest, and here he is at 20 years of age. I call him a youthpreneur. Now, Keith grew up having fun while earning money, doing such fun things as skateboarding commercials, being on the cover of North Magazine, being chosen as the Legoland hero, and playing a victim on America's Most Wanted. 
At just 20 years of age, he's already the owner of his own business and is about to get his first book published. He certainly has learned a lot from his entrepreneurial parents, for sure. In his senior year of high school, he found himself sitting in psychology class thinking of what was he going to do after high school, trying to figure out his plan for after graduation. He started wondering, why was he even here? Like, who was he? Why did he even exist? Why did the universe even exist? And he found himself going into a deep state of mind and started to see the spiritual reality of everything. One thought led to the next, and he started to take notes on his phone. Now, after seven months of doing this, by the end of the school year, he had over 2,000 notes on his phone. He found also that they seemed to all connect with each other. They all had to do with the same thing. He felt that it was all very deep and like he was supposed to make a book out of it. So he started putting his book together and at the same time had a great idea for an app that he started making while he was still in high school. By the time the end of the year came, he had a very strong idea of what he was supposed to do with his life. He was very passionate about writing his book and starting his business. So he decided not to go to college and focus on his business instead. When Keith told his parents that he had no desire to sit several more years in college, they accepted the idea that he was requesting to break out of the norm. The norm that Anna and David and their family and friends were all doing. Everyone had gone straight from high school to college or university, but they knew that Keith needed something different. They knew Keith had a special drive in him to succeed and build on his natural talents that had been labeled incorrectly as ADD. As parents, they decided to give him a chance to prove himself and told him that as long as they didn't see him sleeping in daily, wasting time on social media, watching TV, or hanging out at the beach all day, they would allow him six months to work towards achieving his dreams and his goals. And there is Keith happily working on his first book. After seeing how far Keith had gotten within those first six months, they were convinced that they had made the right choice. Keith never wasted one second of his time, unless it was a weekend to recharge, to master his dreams. He proved to them that there is more than one path in life to achieve success. Over the next two years, he put all of his efforts into building his businesses and admits to learning a lot through making a lot of trial and error mistakes and successes. Keith loves the fact that he is successful without having had to go to college first by using his entrepreneurial skills to create an app, start his own YouTube channel, and write a book that will help others. He's setting the foundation, getting the testers in place, and building his fan base, which will in turn allow him to earn YouTube ad revenue, in-app revenue, and revenue from the eventual sale of his book and future books. His book ended up being over 300 pages, so he decided to make a shorter, more compressed version of it that he is currently working on getting published. His business, Mindful Games, has its first app, Color Dash, up and running in the Android Play Store and on the Apple Store, and it's really starting to take off for him. Just check the description below for the links to Keith's website, his app download pages, and for his YouTube channel. It's a really cool app to stimulate the brain to be successful in life by training it to stay focused and increase reaction speed. And he's hoping that this will be the next billion dollar app. Here it is, Color Dash. Again, the links are in the description below for you. Keith is also certified in life coaching too. Spiritual life coaching and helping people with that, building testimonials and growing that on his YouTube channel and on his blog. Spiritual philosophy and self-improvement are his biggest interests that he loves to share with his followers. He videos his thoughts throughout the day as they come to him, that he then wishes to share. He records the videos on his phone and then uploads them to his YouTube channel to share the knowledge. His specific niche is in helping teenagers become certain on their life path, help teens find their passion and build their passion. He helps their businesses grow through business coaching and social media marketing. And you can find Keith on Fiverr as well to help you get your own business idea up and running. 
and make sure you check out one of Keith's favorite episodes from his YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. It's called All Is One, The Power of the Universe. How we're all connected and we're all from the same source. Trust me, I've seen it and I was blown away by his insights. He loves to constantly educate himself, like learning more about spirituality, but also about learning the business side of things, like building his websites and his YouTube channel and learning things like stocks. What an amazing role model Keith is for our kids and for us adults too. All right, now let's meet some more of his amazing family. Jordan Mintz is the middle child, currently 17 years old. I call him a teenpreneur. Jordan doesn't believe high school or further education is what's needed to succeed and has other methods of making money instead. At 18 months, Jordan won the title of Mr. San Diego at the Valentine's Gold Coast pageant. He was also photographed at age six in a tow mater costume after the Disney movie Cars came out and was featured on billboards for Party City, Target, Walmart, and other costume stores. His personality started to shine at the young age of 18 months when he stared at the judges with his big blue eyes and waved with a happy smile brightening their day, says his mom. Jordan is an avid skateboarder who inspires other kids with cool tricks at the skate park. He is also a natural born entrepreneur, although he says he's not quite an official entrepreneur yet since he's still in school, but he likes to sell things and started his own little company. He sells things online and has his own store on eBay. He sells things, packages them, and then just sends them out from their own mailbox. He averages about $100 each month doing that. He uses his free time to work and create money so he can have money to work with. He is also great at finding one-time opportunities like when one lady gave him a bunch of cats that he had then sold for a couple hundred dollars. He says that they went really fast, but realizes that opportunities like that are not an always thing, but more of a one-time kind of opportunity, a here and there kind of thing. Recently, Jordan completed a nine-month course where he found one of his true passions. He developed the skill and the love of working with and training horses. He was even handed a wild colt who counted on Jordan to get tamed and he's now looked up as a role model among other teens his age since the horses helped him to understand people's emotions better. He's working on a couple of other things as well and also wants to work with his brother because he says that his older brother knows a little more about working online since he's had more experience. So he wants to learn from him. And Jordan is learning from his own experiences, playing trial and error and seeing what works best. He hopes to have more success as he gets older because he knows he's just messing around with things right now and getting a taste for how it all works. He believes in being constantly grateful for all we are blessed with and emphasizes the importance of giving to those in need. Let's meet Keith and Jordan's little sister, Tanya Mintz, their youngest, 12 years old. I like to call her our tween manure. Reading by the young age of just two years old, Tanya was a quick learner and is now, just at the age of 12, easily following in her brother's shoes and proving that you don't have to be a boy to be an entrepreneur. She is proud of her achievement as a red belt in karate and is getting very close to achieving her black belt level too. Tanya is very creative in making money and even getting publicity. She's been an amazing help to her mom creating her PowerPoint slides and helping mom with the digital world. Like her brothers, Tanya has also been a very successful child doing commercials, winning talent contests, like when she won the California Gold Coast Beauty and Talent pageant. Tanya also has her babysitting certificate and earns her own money through babysitting as well. Oh, and Tanya was featured in Baby Genius videos, as were her brothers. Here's a picture of her being filmed for one of them. Tanya can often be found rehearsing and auditioning for commercials. She did a commercial advertising an app for Qualcomm, Euphoria. Tanya is a great role model for little girls, showing them that girls can do anything they want to in life. They can babysit, they can be on TV, they can become a black belt if they want to, and that they can also become their own boss. Tanya is the perfect role model for our girls. As already mentioned, Tanya is very interested in building her own businesses and is currently working with her friend on their first YouTube channel, TS 
vlogs. You can find the link to that in the description below as well. She recently bought herself a new camera to take her videos with and is loving every minute of the process. Here we can see her talking to her YouTube fans. So what do her and her business partner make videos of? When I asked her what they film, she told me that she and her friends spend their time sharing daily adventures of what it's like just being a teenage girl in today's age. You know, everyday teen girl stuff like what they do when they hang out and have fun and showing off cool new gadgets that they'd like to recommend like the new hoverboard she got. They don't go to the same school, but they do hang out a lot since they're neighbors, just down the street from each other. Check out two of their funniest videos, the hoverboard obstacle course and the six household pranks using everyday things. The links are in the description below for you. These videos are great examples for our own kids of how they can use the power of the internet, YouTube and product sites like Amazon to earn their own money. Your child can make a how-to video or a tutorial video on a product that they love themselves. They can show funny and cool tips and tricks and hacks and pranks and then they can add a link in their video description to a store like Amazon where their viewers can buy things that they see in the video and your child has the potential to earn commission on it. Tanya loves to give back to the universe and always goes out of her way to make new students feel welcome and comfortable. As Gandhi said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And that's not all. Here are some more really cool Mintz family facts. When they were younger, they had a family singing group called Spirit, where they went to senior homes, hospitals, community centers, and other venues where inspirational songs, dance, affirmations, and cheers were appreciated. Here you can see Tanya healing the world with her wand. They did this for free and simply accepted donations that they then gave to support autism. Now as for the label of autism, Anna feels that these special kids should be written up as autistic since there is no doubt that they are loaded with special talents that need the opportunity to shine. She says parents are truly blessed to be raising these kids and watching them become the ones that make positive difference in our world as they break out of this average in the box society. The Mintz family all love to travel. In particular, they love taking cruises together, spending quality time with each other while inspiring those around them. With their contagious smiles and positive healing energy, their family goal is to make a positive difference in our world. They go together as a family to homeless shelters to help out wherever they can. But they not only serve food, they love spending individual time with the people there to play games and to listen to their stories. They're known to be a very generous family, always looking for ways to include others and to give back. They are also going to be big pals for the kids who don't have homes and are in shelters, bringing them to their house, doing Friday night services at their house, and on the weekends letting them enjoy the pool in the backyard. They feel that it's important to let kids know what it feels like to be part of a fun, loving family. They get the most joy out of giving them warmth and whatever else they are missing, trying to fill in the gap for them. You might be wondering, why did I choose the Mintz family? Well, to be honest, what really caught my attention most about the Mintz family was that they understood that we're all unique with each of us, our own set of talent and the love to share it in our world. They believe we all are on a mission to make our world a better place using our own unique talents and abilities. And they've been noticed for their good deeds too. They were recently featured in La Costa Neighbors magazine. So what about kids and money? Well, Anna believes that kids should earn their own money. Anna started earning her own money when she was about 12 or 13 babysitting, mowing lawns in the summer, and shoveling snow in the winter. She also worked at camps her whole life. She feels that it helped her to connect to other kids and get looked up to when she worked as a counselor, which then taught her responsibility to be fully prepared for life. Anna and David believe that kids should do a lot of things at home for free because, well, they live there. <laughs> and as such, they feel that some things don't need to get paid for like doing the dishes, helping with the laundry, and so on. Okay, designer jeans? What's up with that? When Anna was younger, she remembers wanting a pair of high-end jeans because, well, everybody else had these jeans. Her mom was willing to pay for regular jeans but would say that if Anna wanted to bump it up to designer, then, well, she'd have to pay for the difference herself. And so that's what she did. She saved until she could bump it up to the next level of jeans. And it was a choice. 
She could choose to do it or not. She would still get regular jeans if she needed them, but if she wanted to get fancy ones, then it was up to her to make that happen. That's the kind of value that she wants to teach her own kids. She wants to give them the basics that they need, but if they want something fancier, then they have to pay the difference. And she would also offer them some extra work. Besides their basic chores, Anna and David will then give their kids the opportunity to earn money to help them earn the difference. Since they have no snow to shovel, seeing as they live in San Diego, and since they have a gardener who mows their lawn, since, well, it's a little more complicated lawn with palm trees that need a specific type of maintenance, their kiddos couldn't earn extra cash the way that their mother had when she was a teen. So instead, Anna and David offered their kids other work opportunities as a way to make some bucks. Like washing their cars, polishing the barbecue, mopping the floors, and also helping mom set up for her health workshops by setting up and receiving money for the supplements and the health products. She sees no reason why kids can't work for their own money. And I have to say, I agree. Anna encourages parents to get their kids working, doing stuff around the house, because not every kid can go out to find work, so for the ones that can't, there is stuff to do around the house that they can do too, besides the regular day-to-day -day chores. So, what do you think? How did you enjoy meeting the incredible Mintz family? Did you find the Mintz family inspiring like I do? If so, then please help them, and help me as well, to empower more kids and teens and their families by leaving your personal comments below. Let them know what you liked most about them or what you found really cool or how they inspired you and your family. I have loved getting to know Anna and her Mintz family. They've become dear friends to me. I feel so blessed to have met them. And I would love to have the opportunity to get to know you better too. Maybe even do a special feature of your family and the money and the life lessons that you have learned and want to share. Your family could be featured on the Teaching Children About Money blog. The links again are in the description below for you. If that sounds okay to you, then leave me a comment below and let me know and I will get in touch with you so we can meet up. I look forward to getting to know you better. Anna sent me this message which was very sweet. Thank you, Amanda for all you are doing to help us spread to others what we do, and as a result, inspire them to do the same by letting their talent shine as well. You're so very welcome, Anna. It really was my sincere pleasure getting to know each and every one of the amazing Mintz family, and my honor to share their inspiration with you all. Don't forget to let the Mintz family know how they have inspired you in the comments below. I know they will be absolutely thrilled to hear your comments and hear your stories. And I know that Anna will be so happy to answer them for you, as will I. If you enjoyed this video and found it inspiring, then please do me a favor and hit the like and the share buttons below to help share the Mintz family with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and so on. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me to empower more families with a healthy wealth mentality. You are so appreciated. You know, together we can raise kids and teens who are money savvy and get to follow their dreams because they know how to handle and value their money, how to have a healthy wealth mentality, and will not come back crawling home to you to get them out of financial trouble. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you'll get a notification every time I have a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I'd love to give you seven gifts. Just click the link above or in the description below and you will also get seven free kids and money tools to help you with teaching your child about money. Thank you so much for raising Clever Doe Kids. And don't forget to click the notification bell below after you subscribe and visit teachingchildrenaboutmoney.com to get your seven free tools for teaching children about money and take a look at this next video on my list that I think you'll really enjoy. Thank you so much for stopping by.